Well, good evening, everyone. It is great to see so many folks out here tonight for what is going to be a fabulous concert. My name is Eric Mason. I'm the director at the Longmont Museum. And this summer, the museum is taking its concert show on the road while we do a transformation of our uh, courtyard. Uh, starting in September, you're going to see uh, a beautiful 700 seat capacity Stewart family courtyard at the museum. And uh, I invite you all to come down and check that out. Um, the courtyard is really just the first phase of an entire transformation of the museum. Next up is building an expansion which will add a new flexible gallery with the possibility of multiple exhibits as well as a dedicated year-round hands-on children's gallery. We're very excited about some of these possibilities which will give the museum uh, opportunities for all ages all year. In order to make this reality, well, you know, we need a little bit of support. Um, and one fun way that you can help support the museum is by coming to an event on September 7th, which is our inaugural fundraiser that we're calling the Sunset Soiree. Uh, we'll unveil the new courtyard at that event. You can enjoy cocktails, uh, dinner, uh, live music, and really get a sense of what I think will be one of the finest event spaces outdoors in all of Longmont. Um, for more information, drop by our information tent. Uh, Megan Peters can fill you in on all the details on our upcoming Sunset Soiree. I'd like to thank the sponsors for uh, this series, the City of Longmont, Scientific and Cultural Facilities District. Uh, Philip Ferranti was with us tonight. Thank you, Philip. Um, and of course, our members. Our, how many folks here are members of the Longmont Museum? Thank you all so much. It is awesome that you are supporting the museum and supporting culture in Longmont. Now, without further ado, we have an amazing show for you this evening. Denver Tycho's heart-pounding beats and rhythmic grooves make for a performance you won't forget. Originally used to intimidate and frighten opponents on the battlefield, this ancient Japanese musical tradition was also used by farmers to ward off evil spirits and pests. It later found its way into the refined settings of the imperial court and sacred Buddhist and Shinto ceremonies. Everyone, please welcome and enjoy the deep resonant drum beats of Denver Taiko!
Good evening, everybody. <laughs> you know, uh, before um, I say anything more, on behalf of Denver Keiko, Justin Beach, thank you very, very much for again inviting our group to perform for your Longmont Summer Concert Series. A lot of great work involved with the city of Longmont and uh, the uh, Longmont Museum and, and everybody to make this happen. So uh, thank you very, very much. We go back a long ways. In fact, I remember uh, playing for the Longmont Museum about, it's been like 15 years ago, but we've been playing like six or seven times ever since. And so we're very humbled and uh, very uh, grateful to be part of this, this series this summer. Uh, we are Denver Tyco and we've been performing for 48 years. Yay. And members of our group have dwindled down a little bit and then it, it brought back up, but we all uh, have a passion and energy for playing taiko, with, with, which is Japanese drumming. And a lot of our, our members come from different backgrounds. Uh, each have a reason for playing taiko, but we all come together as one to play for uh, the Japanese culture, to share with everybody this, this old but new uh, Japanese uh, cultural art. And we hope that uh, uh, tonight we have a, an array of uh, different pieces for you and hope that you uh, kind of get a feeling of about our group because there are about 300 Taiko groups in the in uh, North America. Oh, thank you. Uh, 300 uh, Taiko groups in North America, and from 1976, there was only four in, in North America. So, so you can see how how vastly Taiko has grown. Not just the performance Taiko and Kumi Taiko, which is performance Taiko, but then you see a lot of Japanese drums collaborate with Indian dancers, uh, new wave, hip hop, and that, that's wonderful that we're able to experience that kind because music is universal. Everybody knows uh, that language and me music is also very healing. So we hope that you enjoy what we specially put together for you this evening. Uh, the first two pieces which we played for you is called uh, Hachijo, and Hachijo means eight islands, and this was a piece given to us, permission, by a Japan group in Tokyo, uh, Japan, on Nekoza. The second piece we played was called Achikochi Kimochi, and that is a, it means feeling good everywhere. And this was written by our very own Yuji Kimura. <laughs> so the next two pieces, uh, actually I wrote, uh, first one is tomodachi, meaning friends, and then the, uh, the other piece is kawaru, meaning changes. And so uh, we hope that you enjoy uh, the rest of the program, and then we'll have some audience participation, including dancing, yay, dancing and uh, audience participation. So, thank you.
All right, thank you so much. So we're gonna do a fun thing here. Um, so we learn how to play taiko by, we have a term for it, it's called kuchi shoga. So the idea is if you can say the song, you can play it. Um, so the, way, the first way that we learn how to play taiko is we learn the different beats. So I'm gonna have you repeat after me. The first beat is called a don. So does everybody say don? Don. don. Very good. And a don is a big hit in the middle of the drum. So I'm going to have a... Brianna, can you come do a don for us? Don. So that's a don. So I'll do a real short um, demonstration of what the other words that we learned, but today you, are gonna, you guys are going to help us do, uh, say a piece and then play it. Um, and you'll just do it from, from where you're sitting. So the next beat is called a kata. Kata is on the rim of the drum. So uh, Brianna, can you play a kata? Can you guys all say kata? Kata. Kata, very good. The next beat is called a tsuku, and tsuku is a very soft beat. So, tsuku. Okay, everybody say tsuku? Tsuku. All right, great. And the last beat is a silent beat, and we call this su. It's spelled S U, so we go s, and we'll play a silent beat. So, <laughs> yeah, very loud, right? So, can you say s? Very good. All right, so what is the big, drum, big beat in the middle of the drum? Do you remember? Don, very good. Okay, so we're going to practice playing dons, and we're also going to practice what we call a ki-ai. A ki-ai is a, a guttural yell from the pit of your stomach. So um, we're going to say one ki-ai. It's called sore. So everybody, can you, and, and the count of three, say sore really loud. So it's S-O-R-E, sore. Ready? One, two, three. Sore! Good. One, two, three. Sore! All right. Now we're going to put the don and the sore together. So we're going to clap for don. All right, so everybody, let's do one, two, three, don. Very good. One, two, three, don. Good. All right, so we're going to do don, sore, don, sore, don, sore, don, sore. So we're going to do that four times, okay? One, two, three, go. Sore, 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 sore. Oh my gosh, you guys are brilliant. Okay, now we're going to speed it up a little bit. So we're going to do don, sore, don, sore four times. Then we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's like don, 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 don. So eight times, okay? So we're going to do don, sore four times, and then we're going to do the eight claps, okay? Five, six, ready, go. Sore, sore. Awesome, you guys are catching on really quick. Okay, so now we're gonna speed it up again. So we're gonna do one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and, okay? So we'll do don sore, then we're gonna make it, we're gonna do a little bit faster and then we'll do it faster, okay? Five, six, ready, go. Sore, sore. to come next even faster okay so you can do that either on your lap or you can try and clap really fast so we're gonna do one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and, and then again one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight so we'll do it really fast okay all right so let's start again from Don Sore five six ready go Like um, the equivalent of a palindrome. 
So we're gonna go slow, and then we're gonna do the same beats we did at the beginning. So we're gonna go uh, slow to fast, and then fast to slow. And we'll end with don, sore, don, sore. So, um, so I'll have Brianna um, show us how the whole thing's gonna look, and then you guys can play along, okay? So five, six, ready, go. make sense okay let's try it all together and then um, we'll we'll do it like twice together so all right you guys ready for the challenge okay all right ready five six ready go with you we'll just all play it together okay all right last time thank you all for being so patient and thanks for learning it so quickly now you know your first taiko piece so all right then it's called the don sore drill so very creative sound uh title but yes all right ready five six ready go <laughs> pieces for you. Um, this first one is called omiyage, and omiyage means gift, and this is a gift from us to you. This is an open source piece that we learned from Shoji Kometa, who is based out of LA. Um, he wrote this piece for all the taiko groups that ever want to learn it, so this is our version of omiyage. Please enjoy. Thank you.
so much. That was Omiyage. You guys like that? Awesome. Okay, so a few things about um, how we play Taiko. So we play some of our pieces on these slanted um, stands, and that's called Oweto style. Um, the next three pieces we're going to play for you is on the down stand, so the top is sort of flat, um, and that's called the Betsa style. So um, in Japan, most groups either take one or the other, but in North America, they tend to do both types of playing. So um, this next piece we're going to play for you is called Hiryu Sandangayashi, and this means Leaping Dragon. And this piece was written by the father of taiko of all of uh, performance taiko, Sensei Daihachi Oguchi, wrote the original uh, version of this piece. And then Sensei Seiichi Tanaka out of the San Francisco Taiko Dojo, he rewrote this piece um, in his style. So um, this is Hiryu Sandagayashi, which means Leaping Dragon. The next piece we're going to play after that is called Yoki Daiko, which means Happy Drums. It's usually played in a festival, and they jump on top of the drums, and they do this thing. We're not going to do that, so don't worry. Um, we don't have that kind of insurance. So, And then after that, we're going to play a piece called Hiyaku, which was written by um, two members of our group, uh, Nancy, or, yeah, Nancy Ozaki and uh, Dee Dee Tori Tanetti. Is that right? It was written by two different type of members um, a long, long time ago. So um, we hope you enjoy Hiryu Sandangashi, followed by Yoki Daiko, followed by Hiyaku. Thank you.
it's time for some dancing. <laughs> Not just in Taiko, we, we do all drums. We, we have a little bit of a dance. Uh, but this, uh, this particular song, it's called Fukushima Ondo. Uh, Fukushima Ondo is a little bit about the history of it. Uh, Japanese immigrants from Fukushima Prefecture uh, bought the song, brought the song Fukushima Ondo to uh, Maui in the early 1900s. And many of them lived in the plantation village of uh, Keahu uh, in, Ma uh, in uh, Hawaii. And they organized an in informal group and they played Fukushima for their annual Obon festival. And I don't know it, how many people are, is familiar uh, with Obon, but it is, uh, Obon is an annual Japanese holiday that uh, we commem commemorate and remember our ancestors and also our loved ones who have passed on. And so we do this every year. In fact, uh, in another couple, week, two weeks and a half, uh, our Denver is going to be having the Obon, and we're going to be playing the same piece and the same dance. Uh, so we hope to see all of you there. Uh, Kei Fukumoto, she's the co-founder of Maui Taiko. And so she is a, also a really good friend of ours. And so she came to Colorado and she taught us this very special song. And it's been in her family for five generations and they've played it since a uh, hundred years, uh, or a uh, hundred years. So uh, it's really special to us and we'd like to share this with you. So this incorporates dance movements and it's only five, it's five really simple movements. And then we'll have the, the chudaiko, which is the medium-sized drum, a fue, Japanese flute, and someone singing. And we'll tie this all together. And so it looks like this whole space is available. So if anybody would like to come up to the front and, and we'll form a circle. And so maybe some Denver Taiko members would go to the front. And then we'll get in a nice circle and then we'll, we'll start teaching the dance movements. I see some friends that I know. You want to come up? Some friends and relatives. It's, it's really, really simple. Really. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. What we're going to do, great. And it's okay to form two cir circles also, but we'll be, we'll be traveling in uh, a clockwise direction. So we're going this way. Okay. Okay. Oh, very good. Okay, so again, we're going in a clockwise direction, so we're going this way. Okay. So the first move is stepping to the right, okay, and then making your arms sort of like in a crescent. Okay, okay let's all try that again. Get into ready position. Okay. Step right, touch, there we go. Next movement is going back to your left. Left, touch, very good. Okay, let's try that again. Start again. Okay, here we go. Five, six, so, right, touch, left, touch, nice. Two out of five now. See how easy? Okay, now everyone's facing, I mean, uh, seeing each, each other's back, right? 
Okay, so the next move, after you do the left touch, you turn to the center of the circle. So you see that person clear on the other side of the circle. Okay? And then again, starting with your right, you throw down your arms, and then it's like tossing a sack over your shoulder. Okay? On the right side. And then doing it again on the left side. On the left side. Okay? So starting from square one, we start all over again. So right, touch, left, touch, center, throw back. Go back. Good. Yay! That's four moves. Now the last one. So you're you're right. You're facing each other, right in the center of the circle. So you go back right here. Okay. So you go. You count four. One, two, three. Clap. Okay. You move three steps. One, two, three, and then clap on the fourth one. Okay? And then you start all over again with those five movements. Yay! Okay, so let, let's start again from square one. Here we go. Here we go, five, six. So, they right, touch, left, touch. And then one, two, three, clap! So you're, you're, you're just a very, you're, you're part of this whole tradition of, 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 of being part of Fukushima Ondo. So thank you. Okay, now we're going to incorporate the, the, the drums. So one person is going to be playing the melody, Yuji is going to be singing, and I'll be playing the fue. And we're going to be doing three verses, okay? It's gonna go just a little bit fast, but I know you guys could do it.
for being part of our the Fukushima Ondo. Thank you very much. So we're going to play another three pieces. Uh, so the uh, next two is called Seishu Wagaku. And Seishu Wagaku means youthful spirit and energy. And this was one of the first uh, pieces that was taught to us by Sensei Seiji Tanaka uh, of the San Francisco Taiko Dojo in San Francisco. And he is, quote, the father of Taiko. And he's the one that brought Kumi Taiko, which is performance Taiko, to uh, the United States. And so he is the, uh, his, his dojo, San Francisco Taiko Dojo, is the first uh, group in America. And the second Taiko group that's formed was Kinata. And then the third was uh, San Jose Taiko. And then a year after San Jose Taiko, um, or two years after uh, San Jose Taiko, uh, Denver Taiko well, was born in the, the Midwest. Um, so we'll play that for you. And then Ashira. Ashira is also a piece which Kinata Taiko had uh, taught us, and that means warrior. So hope that you enjoy uh, both of those.
play our, our final piece. Uh, I'd like to thank you all again for coming uh, to to uh, watch us and attend in attendance to this uh, nice summer concert and thank you very much. Uh, if anybody wants to learn more about our group we're always on Facebook, uh, Instagram and then also we have a website uh, www.denvertaiko org and you can look us up and learn more about us. Uh, we have some upcoming performances. Uh, Dragon Boat is July the 28th and we play I think around 3 o'clock. 3.30? Okay. We play at 3.30. And I just found out that uh, Boulder Taiko is performing the same day on Sunday. Uh, they are performing at 2.30, 2.30 to 3 o'clock. So you'll get to see a couple of taiko groups that day. Uh, the next uh, uh, performance is our Obon, and that's held at the Denver Buddhist Temple, 19th and, 19th and Lawrence. Uh, it's at six o'clock, and so uh, there's usually 13 dances that, that the uh, Minyokai, the dance uh, ladies, have uh, prepared for all of us, and so one of them is actually the Fukushima Ondo, so if you happen to be there that night, please join in. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we have a Koi show sometime in the middle of August, and then Kansas City. We, we have been uh, traveling to Kansas City uh, and playing at the Johnson County Community College for over like 25 years, and so we've been traveling in our, our van and a few people flying over, and so we'll be participating there in October, October the 5th. And so if anybody is around that area, come see the, the festival. So once again, thank you very much. We're going to be playing Agariya Tai. Agariya Tai is a very special piece with uh, Yoichi Watanabe Sensei from the Amano Jaku in Tokyo, Japan, had came down, uh, in 2003 and he did a special uh, performance and uh, around the uh, Denver area going to the different uh, schools, elementary schools, sharing taiko and the Japanese art. And then the last week he was uh, around, he gave Denver taiko a very special gift which is Agari Yatai. Uh, he says that he's been teaching all of his hundred groups around the whole world this and this is usually a warm-up piece, but he says we can turn it into a, a piece, a, a song, um, instead of a warm-up. So, hope you enjoyed this, and again, thank you very much. Thank you.
One more time for Denver Tyco. Thanks, guys. I'd be exhausted if I were them. Yeah. We've got one more of these pop-up concerts coming up on July 24th, two weeks today at Car Park, featuring Kutandra. What's Kutandra? They fuse ancient African music traditions with indie pop, rock, jazz, gospel, classical, and world folk influences. You won't want to miss that. You also won't want to miss the Lego exhibit that's up now at the museum. And anything you ever wanted about, anything you ever wanted to know about the museum, all questions can be answered at that Longmont Museum tent. They know everything. Thanks for coming. See you in a couple weeks or at the museum soon. Also, the food truck's still open, I think. There's some free cookies offered by Tiff's Treats and uh, some snow cones, too. Thanks for coming out.